Hi everyone and welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to show you the new feature you're going to find in Add on the Fly 2.0. So if you have uh, any object in your scene that is active, you can launch this panel and you're going to find here uh, the, this new button to mark assets. You can see it in your asset browser or just unmark it. The second item you're going to find in the header is this button here and it allows you to lock every settings of your object in the scene. You can see it's locked uh, because you have here a, a red circle and you can always change in the user pref uh, the size of this mark. Okay. The third the new item you're going to find in the panel is uh, the tabs here. So you can see this mesh has only uh, one material here. You can always uh, rename it like so. Okay, and now if you want to drive uh, the material of the mesh directly in the viewport, you can do so and tweak the parameters here, like so. The fourth item you're going to find in the panel is this plus button here. It creates uh, an instance on place and there's two functions in this button. With control, you have another operator. So let's start with the basic plus button. You select everything in your collection here, click plus and it will create for you an instance collection here. You have your original collection and you can always change and move your object and it will report all transformation in the instance collection created. So let me show you how it works with the control plus button. So basically you always have your instance collection here, but it stored your collection in this collection here called reference instance. If you do the same thing here, you create a new collection fern. Okay. And now you click the plus button here. It will create for you the instance collection and your original uh, collection will be stored in this main ref instance collection. You can now keep uh, this collection hidden and work only with your instance collection in your scene. Finally, let me show you a cool feature here. You have particle tab here. You can create in one click some fur on your object. You have uh, quick parameters like so and you can add the bronian and add children here and just in a few clicks you've got something interesting i think at last but not the least if you are a geoscatter user like i do you can handle the main parameters of geoscatter you can show your particles create masks and so on and drive all your systems like so. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you're gonna find this video helpful and see you next time.